Okay, so wrist exercises. We're gonna start off with strengthening ones. Elbows are uh, forward, fingers are forward, natural width apart, uh, your hands are about shoulder width apart, and you're just gonna come up onto your knuckles, so your palms are gonna come off the ground, and your, uh, and your uh, thumbs are gonna come off the ground. And you're just gonna slowly raise yourself up and slowly raise yourself down. Remember, trying to keep those knuckles on the ground so these stay on the ground. Your thumb can come off, right? And you're just going to do that 12 times. Slowly ro raise yourself up, lower yourself down. Uh, you can put more weight as you get used to it. Just try a little bit and see how it feels. It will feel a lot of stress on the inside of your wrists. Uh, so just kind of feel that out for your own benefit. Uh, another strengthening exercise that I like to do for both hands at the same time is you face your fingers inward um, your insides of your uh, elbows are going to face each other as well and you just come up onto your fingers fingers together make sure your shoulders are over your hands don't put a lot of weight on this this one's worse than the first one that I did I put very little weight. I put very little weight on this as I come up and come down. You do that 12 times. Once again, my hands are about shoulder width apart. Okay, so we're gonna do that 12 times. Very little weight. I feel that on the outside, but also the inside, but the front part of my uh, wrists. Uh, another strengthening exercise. This one you do one at a time. Your palm is gonna face up. Your elbow is gonna face forward. I like to lock my thumb in, so I'm going to take my thumb and put it here, but I just grip it with my hand. I put, collapse my elbow, roll over my wrist, and the inside, so my elbow's going to collapse like this, and then I'm going to roll it up, and the inside of my elbow is going to eventually face forward when I'm done. And I'm going to do this 12 times. Putting as much weight as you're comfortable again on it. This is a strengthening exercise, and we're going to do these three before we do our stretches. So then we switch, obviously, and do this 12 times on this wrist so that we even it out. Since we're here anyway, right? Even though one wrist hurts, let's do both of them anyway, just to strengthen everything. Next, we're going to go into stretches. So when you place your hand down, just kind of do a natural width of your fingers. Fingers facing forward. Insides my elbows are facing forward, and I'm just going to pulsate forward while I'm on my knees. I'm going to do this 12 times. Okay. Pulsate forward. Okay. Next, I'm going to flip my hand over. So now my palm is facing up, but my front of my elbow is still forward. And now I'm going to pulsate towards me. And I'm going to do that 12 times. Okay, it's okay to take a break during the middle of this, just feel it out, shake it out, listen to your wrists. Uh, next, uh, you can do wrist rocks, so you'll make a fist, punch the ground, once again shoulder width apart. My elbows are straight right now, and I'm just going to rock my hands forward come back to a neutral position, collapse my elbows a little bit, and rock my hand back. So I want to put pressure this way, right, when I do it. So when I rock my hand back, I'm actually collapsing my wrist on the inside. So we rock it forward to collapse it on the outside, and then rock it in, and you collapse your elbow a little bit. And we're just gonna go back and forth on that. Each uh, wrist rock is one, right? So we're gonna do 24 total or 12 as a set, okay? Uh, another good one to do uh, that I think is important is we already did this with pulsating, but I also like to, this is once again my elbows facing forward. I'll move my knees a little closer I'm going to collapse my elbow and I'm going to try and touch my knee or my uh, my leg, my calf with or my um, my thigh with my elbow. 
But the main thing is, is I don't want my fingertips to slide or come off the ground. It's okay if the thumb comes off, right? I just want to feel a nice stretch all the way through my fingertips and all the way through my forearm. And we're going to do that 12 times. I really like that one and that one has really helped my wrists quite a bit. Oh, let's see, we did forward, we did back. So you can do side to side as well, fingers face out, and you just rock side to side. Okay, putting as much weight as you want to on all of that. Do that 12 times each side, including one, is one time. Um, after that, I think that's about it. We did forward, we did collapsed. Uh, one more thing is I guess, so we've externally rotated it, but you can also internally rotate it. And I like to do this one arm at a time just because it's very hard to do both arms internally rotated to get this really nice stretch on the outside of your arm. So when you've internally rotated it, I want my fingers pretty much facing me directly and I want to pull back on this but I don't I want to make sure that my shoulder is pretty locked in so that I feel this really nice stretch right here and we're just gonna pulsate and do that 12 times just go slow there's nothing to be quick about any of this and we're gonna do that for each arm so once again I'll intern it and rotate so my fingers are facing me shoulders kind of locked in and I'm just gonna pulsate towards me Feeling a nice stretch that comes to the outside of my hand, up along my forearm. And that's pretty much all I do for wrists. So, best of luck.